Everybody, we are starting off this morning. Most areas are rain free, although we do have a lot of cloud cover around and there could even be a few spotty showers, a little bit of fog too to start the day, but rain chances are not going to be all that high until we get into later on this afternoon and into tonight. As things start to heat up, that's when we'll really start to see additional showers and storms developing. So most of the impactful weather will come a little bit later on today and into tonight. Otherwise, temperatures in the mid 80s by early this afternoon with upper 80s expected uh, later in the uh, in the day as far as high temperatures anyway. Here's a live look over downtown and you can see we've got cloudy skies, a lot of low clouds, a lot of gray skies, a 70 degrees of current temperature in Birmingham, some 60s in the northern spots, 68 in Gadsden, Anniston at 68 degrees as well. And you can see there's at least a few spotty showers out there this morning, but coverage is very, very low. But no, notice up here in the parts of Cherokee County, DeKalb, also into uh, Etowah County there just to the west of Gadsden, we've got a few showers and thunderstorms, a few showers there thunderstorms back to our west, so we'll have to watch these as some of these may very well clip our northwestern counties a little bit later on this morning, but you can see in the future cast as we get into this afternoon again coverage will likely increase kind of the same time frame as things heat up. That's when we'll really start to see coverage increasing later in the day and into tonight locally heavy downpours, meaning some instances of flash flooding will be possible and then a few showers around again on Wednesday. A Wednesday afternoon is likely when we'll uh, we'll start to see that high coverage of showers and storms. So rain chances staying pretty elevated over the next couple of days with more impact weather at times today. Not going to rain all day where you are, but there could be at least a few hours where you're getting some pretty good rain from those storms. And then you'll notice we'll, we'll drop rain chances a little bit heading into Thursday and Friday. Maybe coverage not quite as high, but it does look like pollen count and mainly grass pollen will stay pretty low through the end of the week. Temperatures in the upper 80s today. We'll keep those upper 80s and of course rain chances going daily through the end of the week and the start of the weekend. Sprint. Steph, we're looking pretty good out there still. Uh, mostly green out.